If I should die, let it be known that I died an honorable man. Oh, Jesus Christ! Die! Yes! Holy Christ! Brooks crossover, man! Welcome to hanging out, dude. Can we get this started already? Yeah, let's get right into it. Give me a countdown. One, two, three, four, five. The show sucks. How old were you when you first picked up a paintbrush? I was two years old, but I didn't start oil painting until I'm 12. Take a step. If you could go back in time and give a painting lesson to a 16-year-old you, what would be the lesson of that painting? Use more paint, you stupid little shit. Oh, uh, take a step, Brooks. Growing up, did you ever have a girlfriend cheat on you? I didn't date that many girls, honestly. Were you married to the paintbrush? You didn't have time for girls? That and girls didn't really like me. I like you, Brooks. Thank you. Speaking of girlfriends, are there any oil painters only dating sites? I wouldn't be on one. I would never date a painter, dude. Any true painter holds on tightly to their ideology and it would clash with any other painter. Take a step. Why did Bryce Hall cover up your mural? Bryce Hall didn't cover my mural up. Bryce Hall's mom covered it up because I painted his dick really small. I wanted it to be accurate. Wait, you painted his dick small. What did the mural look like? I painted him as a little goblin creature in his room with a tiny dick uh, with Josh Richards holding him like a dog. <laughs> You had him literally illustrated. Dude, dude, that really does look like him. Tell me about your apprentice. Who is he? I have an idiot apprentice whose name is Dino. He slacks off, so I've had to start training four other students. All right, listen, we're all about positivity here and hanging out, so what's the best part about having Dino as an apprentice? He helps me prepare the underlayers of paintings. It takes forever. He's very slow and inadequate, but... <laughs> You know, it does help out, I suppose. Take a step, Brooks. You have a dog named Matisse. Yeah. And he's named after the Spanish painter who was alive during the time area that Vincent Van Gogh was alive. What would it cost for you to rename your dog Matisse to Vincent? Oh, I'm going to have three Pomeranians throughout my lifetime to mark my early career, mid-career, and late career. My mid-career will be Picasso, and my late career will be Vincent. So I will die with Vincent the Pomeranian. Take a step. Would you rather save your oil painting apprentice Dino or your dog Matisse from an excruciatingly painful oil painting accident? Well, I imagine if Matisse got into an oil painting accident, it would be probably because Dino did it. So definitely Matisse. Oh, uh, take a step. Oh, if you had the chance to paint any leader throughout history, who would it be? Probably Napoleon, because every person who's ever painted Napoleon was trying to stroke his ego, and I would just stroke his dick. Would you do like a mural of him like you did Bryce, just with a tiny little ween? No, I don't want to die. I'd probably just paint him to look beautiful and then suck him off like a real man. Brooks, you're halfway across the line, which means I have a special question for you, man. If you answer this halftime question correctly, you can keep walking across the line with the overhead line. Okay. But listen, man, if you get it wrong, you got to finish this interview without that overhead line. Got it. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of living a dishonorable life as a foolish man that doesn't oil paint. All right, Brooks, the oldest recorded painting is of handprints that are, were found in caves in Indonesia over 45,000 years ago. How were those handprints created? Oil painting, spray painting, finger painting, or fresco secco? Uh, spray painting from the mouths of the people who did it. Are you sure? Positive. Brooks. Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. You were right! Brooks, there was no hesitation at all. I should have went way harder than that. Yeah, you really should have. But just because I don't want you to feel bad, if I should die, let it be known that I died an honorable man. Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah, yes! Holy Christ, Brooks. <laughs> Dude, that scared me. And I'm on hard ground. <laughs> All right, let's keep the interview going, man. Right back up. This is what I'm talking about, Brooks. Continue. Brooks, listen, man. Why won't you go paintballing with me? Because I only paint with oil paint. So you're telling me that because it's acrylic paint for the paintballs, you won't go paintballing? That is correct. You're weird, dude, I love it. If I or someone I knew came to you who was blind, do you think you could successfully coach them into painting a self-portrait of themselves? Well, um, if that person had been blind their entire life and didn't know what they looked like, yeah, I think I'd do a pretty good job. And beautiful. I think that's finished, honestly. Do you have any thoughts on your first self-portrait? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not devoid of sense of humor, just eyesight. <laughs> Brooks, you made it across the line. Yes. You deserve all 1,000 of your followers. <laughs> cut, cut, you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know how many subs you have. Not even a 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cut, cut.